welcome back to Susan's office because that's there where we are right hey, now. Look at Romeo still hey, here. Romeo, Romeo, Romeo will be there as long as you keep petting him. He'll be, he'll <laughs> yes, as I'm sitting here, and he kind of blends in with my shirt. So as you does, see me doing it, like, yeah, there's actually a cat on my lap. Yeah, there just he is. Strange. Yeah. Oh, there he and is. He's, yeah, there he is. He's grooming. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna talk a little bit about. Um, so Holly's doing a workshop coming up soon on procrastination and I might know a few people in my life who procrastinate a little bit and it's, it's a difficult for one for me. I don't know who she's talking about. I, I am not a big procrastinator. I, I tend to have something I know that needs done and I, I would prefer to just get it done and get it off my plate. I, I'm somebody who likes a list that I can just cross something off and move on to the next thing. So one of my big projects was I signed on to make 50 more bowls. I made 50 in the fall term. I made 50 more bowls for an empty bowl project in ceramics. And I, I knew I wanted to get it done over the Christmas break. While we're filming this, this is the end of the Christmas break. And I finished that second set of 50. So my 100th bowl, I'll send you a picture you can put up. Yes, I did see it. Um, I saw it on Facebook. If so, you're not following her on Facebook, you should be. <laughs> I am not good at procrastinating. So I would love to hear tips from people how you avoid procrastinating. For me, it's basically I just know something needs done and I do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to... I am... So how do you feel about procrastinating? procrastinating? I always have been. I drove my mother insane when I was in school because if the report was due on Monday, then I started it Sunday afternoon and that's when I got it done. So the thing for me really is deadlines because that's the other thing though. Like I might procrastinate, but I don't miss deadlines. Right. I don't that's... miss deadlines. So a deadline for me is important. So maybe one of the things we can say about procrastination is know your own strengths. Um, know what works for you and for me it's just knowing that something's there that has to be done I just want to do it immediately oh I'm losing Romeo Hello, um, I just want to do it immediately so it's off my plate I, I prefer not having that hanging over my head you're uh, someone who doesn't mind it hanging over your head but you get it done before the guillotine falls correct <laughs> so. yes because once you know but again there is a line in the sand so there is that there is a line in the sand and, um, you know, that, that's what helps me. That's what has always helped me. And I don't know if it's, I guess, saying that I work better under pressure, right? Right. So that's the whole thing. Like you let the pressure build up to a certain point and then you're like, okay, now I really got to get all this done. And, and, and I can't deal with the pressure. I feel so, that my life has so much so pressure in it. Like, I don't want to add to Christmas it. Christmas present person, like you're done shopping by. Uh, like, and I that. always was, I will confess the last few years the kids have all gotten older and we were doing some um secret santa type gifts we draw a name and so you really just buy for one person but the family has all reached an age where if we want it we go out and buy it so it became yeah. just buying something to buy something we didn't like so for the last handful of years we've all kicked in money and donated mm -hmm. um this year my son-in-law knew a family whose home burned and they, they lost they everything. Yeah. So that's where we went. Um, last year we bought a computer for a South American orphanage. And so we try to find something different to do every year, but we do something for someone else and that's our Christmas present. So that doesn't okay, so really, that, I don't, yeah. Thing. Okay, well, I don't know. Again, like I said, I drove my mom nuts. I do work better under pressure and the closer the deadline gets, the more pressure there is. So then, but, but I also, you know, I also would plan. So like I would know, like I didn't, I would never, know if you had something going on Monday that Sunday you pretty much needed to leave open so you could do yes. it. Okay. Or, or that, or the fact that like a novel, like I never waited when I had a, when I had a publisher deadline, I never waited to work on the novel until the week before the novel was due. Okay. So that, I never I would have, do that. I, would have I never such did 
I'll do that. And I'll tell you, there was only one time I needed to ask for a deadline, and that was only one week. I only needed to ask for one week. So I, I've never, I never right. blew those. But you know, but what I would do with that though was divide it into chunks. So I think we're getting more almost into goals. And I okay, think we're gonna do our next another, one. Another so. good one on goals. So, but tell us in the comments. I would love to hear about how you deal with procrastination. If if you either are someone who does it in a timely manner or not, what are your tricks? Because like I said, I'm doing a workshop and you guys are my research. So, so help Holly out. Tell her about your, do you procrastinate? Don't you? And how do you work around that? Because like I said, my workaround is deadlines. So. Great. I appreciate the help. We'll see you next time.